Hey fam, welcome back to the Philip Scott Show. I am Ungel Zalalem bringing you this good news. Rihanna is officially a billionaire. Yup, she is a billionaire now and she is the second richest entertainer in the world after Oprah, of course. This is a huge news and guess what? It's not because of her music. <laughs> it's because of her Fenty beauty that she's able to become a billionaire and no wonder why fans have been waiting for that album to come but it never happened because she knows where the money resides and that's what she focused on and I don't blame her for that I know fans would want her to make music but that's not where the money is you know with all the people that are taking a cut from her music like the management and the, uh, the record label and and the writers and all that she only gets a tiny portion of whatever she's getting from her music but this one she's a 50% shareholder so 50% another person 50% her so whatever is coming in they split it of course they pay employees and all that but I'm saying that when it comes to the profits she will get 50% and that's huge Fendi Beauty is huge and it started, I would say, it, she, it was noble, I think, because there were not many shades, especially in the black spectrum. The darker your tone is, the less chance you will find a, a foundation that fits you, that meshes with your own color. So that has been a, an issue in the beauty industry and nobody wanted to address it. I don't know why, because black women spend money on makeup. Anyways, that's not the point, but she came up with this idea in 2017 to be inclusive, to have more than 50 shades for people so that we have matching foundations and that sold out worldwide because of what she was bringing to the table. You know, there was demand, it's just nobody was addressing that. So because of that, Fenty was a hit. She came up with her lip gloss, people loved it. And then lipstick, she just continued with highlighters and powder and eyeshadow. She just took over the market. And right after that, she started selling um, gowns. Um, and underwear and that's also a hit and now she's even coming up with the perfume so she was just business savvy I would think but also I think um, she was so successful because she um, tried to cater to those that were marginalized and I guess you get paid when your intentions are pure I'm sure she still wanted money <laughs> but I'm just saying she was one of the first ones to have different shades of foundation not only that she also delivered with pigmentation when it comes to eyeshadows and uh, highlighters she just came through she did not just put her brand um, on a label you can tell because some celebrities just put their name on a label just to get money just to get a cut but her she went in there and actually delivered worked on it studied and brought us what we needed that's why I think she's successful and good for her I'm happy to see a black woman win she is a billionaire now after Oprah imagine that's definitely a milestone and I'm sure she's celebrating that with ASAP I am Ongil Zalala bringing you the story I'll see you on the next one bye